two, three, four, five, six, seven. What was that? It hasn't been that long, has it? Whatever that was, can't happen again. For starters, we work together. Uh-oh. You're uncomfortable. No, I'm not. You always state the obvious when you're uncomfortable. And we worked together in Memphis, and it wasn't a problem there. In fact, you even wanted to marry me. Yeah, and then it all went to hell. Different time, different place. Same people. I didn't bring you here for this. I'm with someone. Right. You're Olivia. What? You don't think it's weird that you won't call her your girlfriend? I mean, really, how serious can it be? Serious enough. Enough to pull over on the side of the road and cry in each other's arms. After a school shooting, slam the Enough ER to put a ring on her finger. That's not fair. Enough to play God. That didn't bring us closer. I got to see who you really are. You didn't like what you saw. I was scared. Yeah, well, so was I. I couldn't face it. I couldn't accept it. I couldn't... And now? I understand. Under extreme circumstances, people do extreme things. Like with that Lisa Niles person, I mean, all the crap I heard about her, I could have killed her myself. You mean you think I could have? So? So what's that say? That I get it, okay? That when people are pushed to their absolute limits, there's Please nothing... Snap. No, 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 uh, People change, Steve. Time passes, they see things differently, I see things differently. 7,335, 7,335, yeah, 7,335, 7,335, 7,335, 7,335, 7,335, 7,335, 7,335, you requested my culinary brilliance. I don't think I said it that way. All right, you recipes, uh, restaurant, you wanted my advice. Right. You called me, Sonny. Yeah, but it's not a good time for you to be here. Great, apparently it's not a very good time for me to be anywhere. Uh, let me guess. Don't ask. Yeah, now right. he's catching on. What? Uh, really? Really? You gonna open this place up to the public? That's the plan. Okay, is that even... How do I put this? Safe? Enemies think twice about being seen making innocent people a casualty. Oh, well, as long as they're thinking twice, then... Uh, right. Whatever, look, look, why don't we talk about the food so that mm. we don't have any uh, innocent casualties of your cooking, all right? Really? Well, you did yeah. try my... Uh, my yes, tour, so it I'm was sure very, you... very good. But we're talking about a restaurant here. That's mm -hmm. volume. That's right. variety. Let's let's talk about the basics. Did you even think of a name? Yeah. Okay. What? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Look at that! <laughs> Come on. Really? What? 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 This is the place you used to hang out with Connie. So what? So uh. What's all the magic nostalgia all of a sudden? Or do I even need to ask? It's a bad idea for you to stay here. Because no matter how deep we bury it, what I did what is always going to be here. And like it or not, there is a before and there's an after. And we can't do anything to change that. I can do this all the way to X-ray. And if it doesn't work, then what? You're going to build a little fort around me with tongue depressors and try to make me change my mind? It's actually not a bad idea. Don't forget. This doesn't have to be your choice. I can always transfer you. Yeah. But you wouldn't. Is that a threat? A request. Hmm. I didn't hear a question. Don't do this, Steve. Don't have me transferred. Not now. Not... Not when I have finally given in. To what? To the things that I have felt ever since you left Memphis. This is exactly how it started between Patrick and Lisa. Except I'm not crazy. And I'm not the one who stepped outside of the lines. 
Admit it, Steve. You and I shared something that you can never share with anyone else. What happened between us is life-altering. You mean ending, don't you? I didn't say that. You don't have to. It's in every look, every breath. And we'll never be able to escape that. Running isn't the answer, Steve. Not even if it is into Olivia's arms. She's good for me. But she can't give you the one thing you're looking for. The one thing that is out of your reach. Redemption. I'm not going to discuss my personal life with you, really? Olivia. Really? Half a million hickeys and a grown baby later? You're not going to get personal? You know, every time I, I look at Dante, I can't believe we made him. <laughs> Twelve hours of labor, I'm not going to forget. I'd have been there if I'd known. You know that, right? I know. It would have been the right thing to do. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I didn't want a man to be with me out of some kind of uh, obligation. Mm -hmm. Well, I didn't think, you, you know, that you wanted your son to be raised by a gangster for, you know. That too. All right. So are you telling me huh. that you'd have changed your mind if I didn't get together with Connie. You were with Connie. Yeah, but you could have you could have fought for me. I mean, you guys could have duped it out. Yeah, right, in our bikinis, all covered with mud, right? Now nah, we're talking. Oh, we're disgusting. Look, <laughs> Sonny, you either want to be with someone or you don't. Right. You got to make up your mind. Sometimes that choice stays with you forever. Wait, I take a big monster bite out of you. Well, actually, I am kind of hungry. All right. You really think you and Olivia can make it work with a secret this huge between you? Hard, isn't it? It's not fair to let her build unrealistic expectations. Wait for the day where you can trust her when you'll always be hiding what happened. A life was taken. I took it. And you couldn't handle it. That's simple, huh? I'm not blaming or judging you. It's just... You're free. Let it be over. Steve. I'm the opposite of free. I'm chained to that night. That room, the look on your face. I'm chained to you. I take it that he's not here for restaurant advice. I actually don't know why I'm here, but when the almighty Corinthos summons... Well, I'll talk to you later about what we were discussing. Pasta carbonara. Pancetta, not bacon. Yeah, I'll think about it. Sonny, I'm not talking about your stupid restaurant. I'm talking... Don't you remember that's what the Falconaries and the Cerullos always used to throw down when the kids were threatening to get into it with each other? Peace through pasta? Yeah, beat tearing up the whole neighborhood. I don't know what the hell you're talking about Listen, right now. I'm saying reach for the nearest fork, not the nearest balcony. Don't kill each other. Well, good thing we're on the first floor. Not funny. So, why am I here? Okay. Do what you want to do, but stay away from Michael. Like you stayed away from Claudia? My F -O Before you start making any comparisons, Claudia was an adult. She wanted into my life, and your old man couldn't wait to get rid of her. You're saying that like Michael's still ordering PB&J off the kids' menu. You're using Michael, Johnny. He came to me. Yeah? He came to you? Yeah. Did you turn him down? Who am I to stand in the way of his ambitions? You know what happens to people in our circle. Right? Don't you dare go lumping the two of us together, all right? Michael, I would never treat him the way you treated Claudia. He wants respect. I'm willing to give that to he him. He doesn't know what he wants. He's confused because his girlfriend died. Last thing he needs is to get involved with you and your father. All right, he didn't need a prison stint either, but who's keeping score? Stay away from him. Sonny, instead of making ultimatums, maybe you should just sit and think for a minute about what your kid's going through. Oh, so now he's a kid. Michael lost somebody he loves because right. he, he tried to step in. He tried to interfere. Sound familiar? Abby died because a crane fell from the sky, you Johnny. You think he sees it that way? Truth be told, Sonny, Abby would still be alive had Michael just let it be. 
but he tried to play God. Who's that sound like? You think you can do better? I know I can. Oh, oh, really? Do better with what? Your father's under the impression here that you're incapable of making your own decisions. Just for the record, I disagree. Don't listen to him. Why not? You can't put all this on me. You're right. I'm the one who couldn't handle what happened. But you need to stop pretending. I'm the one pretending. Magic? Make believe that's your full-time job, Maggie. I mean, the first time I laid eyes on you, you had constructed this guitar out of a tissue box and rubber bands. Don't forget the paper towel, too. I thought, who is this woman? My musical debut for Joshua K. Krummenacher, seven and two-thirds years old. Remember, he missed his first concert in Nashville because he had to have his tonsils up. It's a good thing he couldn't talk. He'd have booed me right out of that room. <laughs> I highly doubt that. True. I don't chase easily. Hey, how's my favorite doctor? Mmm, I would say you're doing <laughs> just fine. Mm -hmm. I'm wrong, babe. Patient. Mm. Um, the results I got. I have to. Uh, mm -hmm. I'll see you later. I'll be great. That was quite the entrance. Mm, Do you like that? Oh, you should have seen my exit earlier. Oh, wait. You couldn't, because your lips were super glued all over my boyfriend's face. Huh? Okay. I know you work with kids, so I'm going to keep this real simple. Back off. What'd you do? Tell Johnny not to hire me? Don't act surprised. Dad, I can take care of myself. Brother, what happened to Abby? Some guy was attacking Danger at Bonds. Abby could have been next. I'm not arguing that. Then what the hell was I supposed to do? You're supposed to accept whatever you're feeling and move forward. Accept it? Yes. Abby's dead, and this guy who put this whole thing in motion is out there without a scratch on him? You know, the cops had him, they let him go. Okay. I do not want you to do anything. Why you understand you me? Do it for me, Dad. Bury the son of a bitch. Jason, are you home? 